Hola a todos, bienvenidos. Hola. Welcome, bienvenidos. Today, Tomas is going to talk about his transition from Nicaragua to the U.S. and starting a new life away from anything he ever knew. So when we first moved here together, it was his first time in the United States. In my mind, I just, I just thought, because he had been working like crazy <laughs> in Nicaragua, and I just thought, we'll just have some vacation time and then kind of find a job, find a place to live and start from there. But since he was so used to working all the time, I think he just was like, no, I need to work, I need to work, I need to work. I can't just sit here and do nothing. After, I think it was about 10 days, we were staying at my parents' house. He, a él no le gustó. Because he's, it was hard for me to stay at home and do nothing and say, well, I don't like only spend money. And so I say, well, I know I have only 10 days here, but I need to try to find a job. I was doing some stuff for my father-in-law and after that, where we go? So my parents' house is in Michigan, but then we ended up moving to Minnesota where apparently there was this potato company that... You can say they speak Spanish people work, so some people told me, hey, you can go try to find a job there. They always say yes. Apparently it was so easy to get a job there. Llenamos la aplicación y me dieron una cita, una entrevista de trabajo, so... We went to that and one of the weird thing here is that I didn't know my name is gonna change. My name in Spanish, most of the people don't know my first name, but my, my first name is Oscar, 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 like that, Oscar. We went to the, the interview I went with her and uh, one lady come and say, Oscar, next, Oscar. And we <laughs> yeah, I was like, no, it's nobody here. And she realized and she said, hey, that's you. Said, no, my name is not Oscar. Yeah, that's your name here. <laughs> so they changed my name. My name in English is Oscar, no Oscar. But I will have the interview and everything and they say, yeah, we call you in three days. But I still waiting for the call. After that, well, we were kind of waiting for a call and kind of looking for other options of work. Was I working at the time? Yeah. Excuse you. <laughs> we got an apartment. I ended up getting a part-time job at Dairy Queen and he sat at home bored out of his mind while I worked. My sister ended up finding somehow this guy who needed some help for the weekend. He was thinking about the job he needed to do. He needed two days to do it. So he said he's going to pay her. I don't remember how much an hour. So what happened was my sister sent me this guy's name and number. I called him because he did not speak a word of English. Hi. I was like, hey, my husband really wants, is looking for a job and needs to work. He would love to help you out. It was some like landscaping stuff that yeah. he needed to do. He doesn't really speak English, but he can understand if you just show him what to do. So he's like, okay, yeah, meet me tomorrow at whatever, 7 a.m. or 8 a.m. By the way, never in my life I do landscaping before. In Nicaragua, when we go to clean the patio or whatever, we use a machete. We get there and I met the guy, super nice person, he and his wife, and we, he started showing me what I need to do and he, when I saw the grass come in that roll, two meter long, something like that, I said, what is that? And it's easy, easy, easy money. But we only throw some uh, deer on the floor or on the ground and we start unroll the grass and put one next to the other one and all the job we need to do in two days, get what? We did it in one. <laughs> <laughs> so this guy, he was so impressed by Tomas's work ethic that he actually said, well, hey, maybe I could have some like part-time work for you working. He had um, a well drilling business and he's like, well, maybe you could do like cutting the grass and cleaning up the yard and other like more landscaping type of work. And guess what? I didn't use machete. I use a lawnmower. It's something like you go pushing a hand. <laughs> and it cuts the Oops, grass. I missed that face. So. Yeah, just like that, no machete. He still didn't speak English at this point. It was like, if a guy told him, hey, this is what you need to do, this and this and this and this, and this, he's like, <laughs> my manager, he was really patient with me because he speak English, I don't speak English, and he don't speak Spanish. He started telling me, explaining, hey, you need to do it here, then I go, ready, yes, yes. That's the sound like me. And the end, he asked me, do you understand? Say, no. <laughs> so, the first word I learned from him was, hey, I show you. Say, I show you. Follow him. And yeah. All of it, he told me, he told you. 
So I went behind, behind him, follow him, and he, gonna, he went and showed me, enseñarme qué necesito hacer. So he showed me what I need to do, and I did. Después, al rato de estar trabajando como, you were just doing the, like, the yard work and the cleaning up the shop, sweeping the floor. Two weeks or less, I think, they sent me with two guys, not speaking Spanish guys, only speaking English guys, to help them at the field. So we went to a well, and it was raining, really cold outside. <laughs> and we was putting pipe together in the well and stuff like that. And that was like my, my test, I think, because after that, I think my boss asked them how I, how I did, and they say, yeah, I'm really good, even if he don't speak the language. So I started working more and more. Yeah. One of the hardest thing here was uh, I come from the really, really hot country, Nicaragua, and it's at uh, 90 degrees, 80 degrees, and you've been working under the sunshine and stuff like that. I moved to here, to United States, to Minnesota, it's cold weather, and I was working, one of the hard stuff was be behind the truck, watching the drill, and with the weather really cold, and yeah, that was one of the hard part for me. Wow. It was really hard, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Nicaragua is 80 degrees or 90 degrees. Here, the temperature will go down below zero or 32 is... 120 degree difference. <laughs> yeah. So that was the hard part on me. But I can do it again. Oh, a new stuff I did was driving in the snow or on the ice road, stuff like that, something new for me I never did before. So, but I learned and I try and I'm still here. So yeah, basically he ended up getting in a completely unexpected job. And we thought he would end up working with Spanish speaking people at this potato comp factory, but that didn't happen. He ended up no. working with 100% English speaking people, no Spanish at all. That, well, that, that was really good thing because that made me learn and understand faster the English. So that is the reason I can speak a little bit more. Well, show me and teach me or get experience in something I never did. In Nicaragua, when you make that well, water well, it's a big hole, like one meter diameter. So it's big and it's a person with a shovel and some buckets and Gold is starting going down and down and down and the other guy helped him pull in the bucket with a... Uh, the helper started pull the stuff with the rope and yeah, that's the way we do wells in Nicaragua, but I never did. I used, I only wash. And here, it's only go, drive the machine and set up the machine and the drill is done by yourself. And you only need to start, uh, take some uh, sand from the bucket, we fill it up with water and yeah. At that company I used to have really good time working with them and I, I want to say thank you to everyone for teaching me and be patient with me and I keep in mind, okay? I will be back, don't worry. <laughs> that is the story of the start of our life together in the US, trying to get a job and get through some stuff without being able to speak the language. Yeah. <laughs> and I would like to do another video on the stuff that he did not expect from moving here. Like, I mean, to him was like really weird moving to the US from Nicaragua. It's something he's never, you never saw in Nicaragua, so. Gracias por ver, I hope you enjoyed Gracias. this video. Gracias. Nos vemos. Okay. Hit that like button if you like this video. Comment below. Subscribe for more, and I will see you next, next time. time. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>